Boxing. This Saturday. We got another banger. All right, Prince Sports here. What's up, boxing fans? This Saturday, Canelo Avalas versus Billy Joe Sanders. Great fight. Okay, um, now, this fight is going to be a fight of wits, okay? This is not going to be like the last fight we saw last week. We had a bunch of guys doing barroom style My nigga. <laughs> fights. That was a drag out brawl, okay? That was just a boom, boom, boom. Guys doing those blows. This fight is going to be a little more technical. So if you like a technical boxing fight, this is the fight for you, okay? Canelo um, Everlast is a good brawler. But he's a good technical sound fighter too. He learned a lot from Mayweather because he stole some of Floyd Mayweather's moves. All right? And this, ironically, this is a guy that lost to uh, Mayweather, you know what I mean, in Canelo. But he actually won the fight by a, a judge. A judge thought Canelo beat Mayweather. One judge did. And that one judge never had a, a job calling the Floyd Mayweather fight ever again. <laughs> Serious? That's the story for another day. Now, if you watch the fight Canelo versus Laura, you realize that Laura had a lot of movement. He's a Cuban boxer. He had a lot of, you know, he was sitting there dancing in the ring a little bit. You know, he's <laughs> he's moving. He never stay in one spot. He's not a he's not a pick pocket fighter. A pocket fighter is a guy that stand there and just give you a bunch of punches right there on the spot. That's not Laura. Canelo has problems with guys that have movement. A.K. Floyd. A.K. Laura. Now, if Billy Joe Sanders want a, a shot to give Canelo problems and an opportunity to pull off the upset and beat Canelo, what he's going to have to do is move. He's going to have to do a lot of <laughs> stick and jab, <laughs> stick and jab. He's going to have to do a lot of movement. He's going to have to do that basically all around the ring. I'm not asking for him to run, okay? And I'm, I don't like runners. You know, I don't want him the guy, I don't want him running around the fight, but. You gotta have some movement. You could do a, you could box in a pocket, but you gotta move at the same time. That's what Billy, um, Billy Joe Sanders has to do to beat Canelo. Now, what Canelo has to do, he has the power. He has more power. If this fight becomes a steady fight, where they're just exchanging blows, Billy Joe will go down. Okay, he would get knocked out if he tries to have that fight with Canelo. Canelo's a big boy. He does power punches and. He does the Philly Shell defense to a certain extent. God told you he stole some of Floyd's moves. Now, if if he could um, back Billy Joe down, this fight is over. I think he has to control the pace of the fight, okay? And if that happens, he could knock Billy Joe out by the seventh round. This won't go a full 12-round fight, but it'd be a good fight nevertheless. If Billy, if Billy Joe doesn't let Canelo control the pace... This fight will go 12 rounds. But even if it goes 12 rounds and he's he's doing movement, but he's not getting a lot of punches in, I think this is going to be an overwhelming decision for Canelo. So I do got Canelo winning this fight, but I do got Billy Joe. I wouldn't be surprised if Billy Joe pulls off an upset. But I got Canelo winning this fight by seven to eight rounds. I could be wrong, but I got it seven to eight rounds. That's my prediction for this fight. Boxing fans, watch this fight Saturday. Tune in. Billy Joe versus Canelo. It's going down. And you know what? It's good to see boxing back. This is two weeks in a row that we got two premier good fights. And let's keep them going. Let's see. Let's get this fight between um, Manny Pacquiao versus um, what you call it, Bud Crawford. Or let's see Manny Pacquiao versus Earl Spence. Let's see one of these fights go down. I can't wait. Boxing is back. Boom. Take that and keep it 3,000. Prince Sports out. Peace.